There are bike brands that I've heard about, but I've never had the luxury of trying out. Some, like Pure Cycles, I've even seen mentioned regularly in the comments. Recently, Pure Cycles sent me a bike to take a look at, their commuter bike. Fittingly, called the Urban Commuter Bike. Now, Mountain and Commuter, those are my two favorite bike segments. So while I was waiting on the bike to arrive, I checked out their website and looked over the bike's detail page. It's available in two different colors, green and gray, though I didn't know which one I was going to get. And it's also priced competitively at $4.99. There are three different available frame sizes, each with a full sizing breakdown, complete with info on the head tube angle. And spec-wise, I like what I see. I mean, there's nothing here that jumps out as revolutionary, but it is certainly within the category of being called decently equipped for this price point. Unboxed and in person, the Urban Commuter, it looks, well, I love the looks, and it's minimalist color scheme. But here's the thing. Now, I have over 20 bikes, and I have multiple commuter bikes. And in today's market, with all the available options, it usually takes something like a fancy drivetrain or a unique paint scheme for a bike to stand out. So I was surprised, just looking at this bike in person, that it's a bit different than the average commuter. I mean, it has all the stuff that it should. Things that would make it a good commuter bike, like a decent drivetrain. This is my first Ram X series. It's a 1x8. It also has disc brakes, quick release wheels, a WTB saddle, and WTB tires. So for a commuter, usably equipped. And visually, it seems like it was made with an eye on quality. I mean, just look at it. It doesn't look like a drab commuter to me. It looks like it has some cruiser bike DNA. I can see it in the frame's down tube arch, carrying all the way through to the seat stays. Even the chain stays have an upward curve like a classic cruiser. Then there's the handlebars. They call these the Pure Cycles Urban Arc. And they look almost like someone started to make a standard cruiser style sweeping bar and then just quit halfway through and thought, hey, I kind of like this. And aesthetically, I like these, because it's like mixing a commuter bike with my nostalgia for vintage cruisers, while also keeping all the modern controllability. So these arc bars give the bike a taste of the classic, but with a potentially useful design. Different for sure, and the industrial enamel looking paint, with its select accents, also very classic. And this mix of classic cruiser and urban commuter, I put it in its own category. It's a category I call the commuter. Now initially, the ride was all about those bars, because I kept looking down at them. I mean, they're the big question mark, but pleasantly, they're kind of great. Now, we'll say that the ride is not as upright as I would have envisioned, considering the way the bars look. It's slightly more aggressive. It's more like an urban assault bike, which is why well, I guess they put that on their website. But the positioning works great for my preferences. The only problem is, I'm on a commuter bike, but I work for myself. So I had to make up a new daily grind. I even picked out a new apartment to commute to and from. New fake apartment leased, and I'm on my way to the daily ritual, where this bike gets its true test as a commuter. The thing is that commuting is not meant to be flashy. It's all about fatigue minimization and reliability. That's why so many commuter bikes look alike, because it's difficult to modify that and still maintain usability and comfort. And so far, I'm pretty happy because I like that I can ride something that has some classic styling yet maintains all the right commuting elements. You know what I'm talking about if you commute to work. If you haven't, trust me, day in and day out, riding the same bike on the same path, I mean, even if you like bikes, it can be a bit boring. And you're at the mercy of the weather and all that pedaling. That's why the basics are so important and why so many bikes in this class follow a similar template. With the standouts costing quite a bit more, because that's the usual way to stand out with expensive components. So for a company to address this, not with expensive features, but with clever design elements, that gets my attention. So this urban commuter with its urban arc handlebars and the classic vibes coming off those frame curves and that chrome molly steel frame smoothing things out, I'm a fan. I'm also a fan of the spec sheet because this Ram X-Series drivetrain and these Tektro disc brakes and also the WTB components, all that for under $500 puts this in a good place in my opinion. There's only a couple of things about the bike I'm not crazy about. One of which you may call me crazy for saying, but that's the WTB saddle. My butt just doesn't like most of their saddles and I know, I know they're a great company and have a lot of fans. They just don't work for me. The second is the weight. And it's not a heavy bike, but it's also not light. It's 29.4 pounds, and considering how minimalist it is and that it's a commuter, I was expecting it to be a bit less. And those are kind of nitpicky, and I guess that shows how impressed I am overall with this bike. It's a unique twist on a standard commuter, plus the build quality is outstanding, especially at this price. And that's my initial look at the Pure Cycles Urban Commuter, my first Pure Cycles product. 
Comment below with your thoughts, and also let me know what you think about the classic cruiser design elements on a commuter bike. If you haven't already, be sure you're subscribed and that you have that notification bell active because there are more new bike reviews coming and even more new bikes on the way. It's going to be a busy summer. Quick shout out to my latest patron, Lee G. Thanks, Lee, and thanks to everyone for watching these videos. I appreciate you all. Have a great day.